Hey, good to see you today. Welcome to the September 11th edition of Everyday Thoughts. September 11th, 9-11 has huge memories, thoughts, sadness for our, for our nation, for our culture. But this morning, I want to talk about the one element of 9-11, which I think struck most deeply to us, and it's not just about the terror aspect of organized attacks against us, but what I'm talking about this morning is that vulnerability that we all felt on 9-11 is also the vulnerability we feel every day. The pressures of life, the struggles, the relational struggles, the things with our kids, the finances, disease, sickness, the vaping thing that is going on across the country where people thought that this was a safe alternative, but it looks like it's not safe at all. Any number of areas where we are vulnerable. And what 9-11 needs to bring home to each of us is this one beautiful reminder. Psalm 62 says, only in God is there found safety. He is the one place where things are safe. He is the one place where things are secure. Because he controls all these things around us. And our first thought needs to be to be able to trust him. And not to feel like we're helpless or not to feel like that there's nothing we can do. We're finite creatures. In addition to being finite, finite means limited. In addition to being limited, we are flawed, deeply flawed. So that combination of being finite and being flawed makes us extremely vulnerable. The only person in the entire spectrum of the universe and beyond is God, the great triune God who stands outside of time, outside of history. This God is our God, and in him we are safe. So the psalmist reminds us, only in God is there found safety. Today, let this be a reminder that our vulnerability, may it point us to God, may it point us to his truth, may it point us to the reality that he's got us, no matter how much the muck of life seems to be clinging to us. God is our refuge and our strength. That way, by hanging on to God, by realizing that only in him is found safety, our hearts can be stilled even in the midst of a very troubled world. Hang on that, to that thought this day on this 9-11. Lord bless, and we'll be back tomorrow. Check us out at everydaytalk247.com, and you have a great day.